Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of discussing coding interview question, we will be discussing one more important interview question in this video. Right? And it, this question is independent of the programming language, you know, C, C++ or Java or Python. They want the logic. Right? And generally being asked many times from students. And the question is how to swap two numbers. But here the twist is, the twist is you cannot use a third variable. So you have to swap two numbers without using a third variable. Now swapping means I hope you have the idea. Swapping is here you have two variable like a is equal to maybe 10, b is equal to 20 and you have to swap these values. After swapping a should be 20 and b should be 10. This is called swapping but you can't use a third variable here. Right? So pause the video think and try to solve this question and we will be discuss the solution in both uh, you know in C language as well as C++ and Java right so don't worry I'll give you the detailed explanation and one more point uh, one more thing I just want to discuss with you guys see I'm not able to see all the comments and reply right so the thing is I have decided like after just after uploading the video I'll be most active uh, within you know after uploading the video 20 to 30 minutes after uploading the video just after uploading the video right so you can ask your doubt if you have anything during that time right because after that it's not possible to watch or you know see all the comments in reply so for that obviously you have to subscribe and you have to turn on all the notification right so that as soon as i upload a video you get notified and then within those 20 to 30 minutes if you have any question you can ask to get yeah, the reply of your question so now pause the video and try this out I hope you have done this. Let's discuss this uh, first in C language. So first you have to include stdio.h this file and then in main we will take two variables like int a is equal to 10 and int b is equal to 20. Let's print this before swapping let's print. So it's int, I hope it's visible to you guys. Now, how to swap without using a third variable? What? It's simple logic, just you have to use the logic addition and subtra subtraction. So a is equal to first a plus b, then b is equal to a minus b, and then again a is equal to a minus b. That's it. Let's print this after swapping and I'll show you. So this solution is in C language. Let me just run this and I'll show you the output. See before swapping. Okay. Obviously you have, it's not C++ we have to use. Percentage D and percentage D access specifiers, right? Now I'm habitual of using C++ and Java, no? that's why. I forgot. So 10 20 and after swapping is 20 10. Done? Slash. Just in a new line. See. Right? But one more twist is sometimes they ask you can't use addition and subtraction. Now swap these two numbers. You can't use a third variable, you can't use this logic. So one more logic is you can use XOR operation. Let me just show you that thing also. So we'll just comment out these these things and simple one. See so using XOR, simple one. A is equal to XOR B, B is equal to XOR B and A is equal to again A XOR B. Right? But this is only for uh, you can say those positive numbers. Right? Not negative number this logic. So let's run this and I'll show you the output. See 10, 20, 20, 10. I hope you got this. Right? So this is the logic. One third is also using a command line argument also they can ask like how to swap two numbers using command line arguments. That thing we will discuss also in a separate video. But this is the answer in the logic in C language. If you want this in C++, just a little bit change. I have done already here. Hash include iostream.h int main just take two variables and here obviously we will be using namespace std. So see out before swapping we just print the values. Like this, after swapping, using addition and subtraction, print the values. Right? You can just 
take the screenshot if you want of this logic right and let me just run this program also in C++ see you are getting same output right same you can put XOR and that thing also so if you want to put in C++ also this thing just copy paste and that's it let's run this and see you are getting same output right now in Java if you want to uh, check this is the Java file Java is pure object oriented programming language so without classes and objects you can't do anything C++ is support both processor oriented and OPOP and OOP approach so without classes also we can do many things there we can write program but here see at first we have public class I have declared a class and everything is written within this class only this is the main function public static void main and then two variables we have taken and I have just printed these variables before swapping same logic I applied and after swapping right let's run this and I'll show you see 10 20 20 30 both for XOR you can apply here right so I hope you got this in Python you try out right this is for your assignment in Python you have to write down this logic right now if you want to dry run this just pause the video dry run this program how this plus minus and XOR and all working see plus minus I hope easily you can do but let me just show you how this XOR is working right here so this logic we will discuss here so we have this thing right see XOR is a bitwise operator right so it will be working on bits so first convert this and this this directly we can do something like this like a is equal to sorry okay let me just change the color here a is equal to a plus b so a plus b means 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 now a is 30 right at first a was 10 and b becomes now a minus a so a is 30 a minus b a is 30 and b is 20 so now b, b becomes 30 minus 20 that is 10 so b is now 10 again a is equal to a minus b a is 30 b is 10 so it becomes 20 so a becomes now 20 c this is how we can swap but this XOR operator works on bits so you have to convert this thing into bits now a and b and that you will get it better see now a is 10 so 1 0 1 0 this is in bits like 1 2 4 8 so 1 and 1 20 20 means 1 one more one here at 16 and then 16 plus 4 so you have to remove this uh, one so we just put here for 20 to get 20 1 0 1 0 0 16 plus 4 is 20 i hope you this logic you know how to convert the numbers into bits now a xor b now first we will do a xor b so a is this and b is this XOR. XOR means for the same bits it will give 0, for different bits it will give 1. Right. So A XOR B. 0, 0, same. So it will give 0. It's different 1, different 1, different 1, different 1. So now A is this. Right now A is this. Obviously you convert this into number, decimal number, but right now we will not convert. B is equal to A XOR B. So now A is this and B is 20 only so b is 10100 zero, zero, zero. so now again do xor same zero different one same zero different one same zero this is now b right so see you can easily see b is now 10 only if you convert this into decimal form 1 2 4 8 8 plus 2 is 10 so b is now 10 Again, A is equal to, now this line, A is equal to X or B. So, A is this, B is this. So, X or these two. 0, 0, same, 0. 1, 1, 0. 1, 0, different is 1. 1, 1, 0. 1, 0, 1. So, now A becomes this and this is 20. In decimal form. So, now A becomes 20. So, this is how we can swap. I hope you got the logic, how this XOR is working, XOR operator.
right and this is simple one so this is the thing but this is important question from interview point of view they generally ask this question right without using third variable without using plus minus how to do right so i hope uh, you understood this question but if you any other doubt you can just ask me in comment section right but just after uploading the video within those 20 to 30 minutes there will be 90 percent chances that i'll reply and if you want me to upload more such kind of videos please let me know in the comment section right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye take care